Welcome to Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTS live coverage of boys high school basketball. It's the conference opener for the Cardinals as they host the Armstrong Falcons. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, a half court for tonight's game. And uh, Howie, this one should be exciting. It should be a lot, of, a lot of fun. These are two very similar teams. Both are going to run the run a run the ball. They want to press. They're going to play pressure defense. I think it'll be come down to you know who who can avoid the most amount of turnovers, or least amount of turnovers, I should say, and and then who can really put themselves up scoring. And I think a little bit underneath play is going to come into effect well, tonight both too. Both teams like to pressure the ball. They do like to get a lot of steals. So watch for uh, very active hands on defense on both sides. For Armstrong, just one game to this point, a two point victory in a low scoring affair but they had four guys in double digits they spread the ball around and they've got a number of different guys that can hurt you yeah they're led by Seth Newburn and, and Seth is really a good player he he really is going to avoid uh, I think what he wants to do today is he wants to obviously score because he's averaged 13 points and nine boards but what he really wants to do is he's going to watch uh, number two, Kai John Cummings, Coleman. I think something that uh, that they want to do is make sure they guard him. You look at the scoring that he's done in, the, in their first three games, they're going to want to limit what he does on the court. Yeah, a kind of quiet 18 in the opener that we did against Forest Lake, but 37 and 34 points in the two games uh, last week. So he's averaging just under 30 points uh, a game. But uh, the Cardinals happy to have uh, one of their veterans back and a key in uh, cog in their machine because he's the guy that's going to get it done down low. That's Jackson Smith. And, and what Coach O told me before that first game at Forest Lake, he's going to miss a couple of games, but he's going to come in here and he gives them some size. I mean, he had he had 16 points and eight boards in that loss to Burnsville, that high scoring loss to Burnsville. So he gives them some of that pressure underneath. He's going to allow them to do a little th some things that they couldn't do against Forest Lake. So it should be fun to watch what he does here tonight. Yeah, the Cardinals coming off of, as you mentioned, a high-scoring affair, 105 to 97, 203 points, uh, or 202 points in the, the game. Um, so not a ton of defense, nope. but the Cardinals also had four guys that, that uh, got into double digits in that one, led by Cummings Coleman with 37. But uh, the Cardinals hope that they can turn up the speed and run past the Falcons. But the Birds of Prey will be in hot pursuit. Tip-off is next on CTF. Back at Coon Rapids High School, just about ready to get this one underway. Jackson Smith in the middle to jump it off against Fitz Freeman. It's a great name, Fitz it is. Freeman. This, should, this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be back and forth. Freeman able to win the tip to Newburn. Little fake on tablet, kicks it back out. They work it to the corner. Three-pointer for Scram is short. Tracked down by Freeman. And here comes Tablet into the front court. Back to Jerry Freeman. Cummings Coleman will keep it to the lane. Got held up by Newburn. Ball stripped. Recovered by Freeman, up for Newbert. Takes it into traffic, the shot is off the mark. Jackson Smith has the rebound and he draws the foul. First foul of the game is gonna be called against the one scram in the middle. Yep. Both, both teams are gonna to wanna to, you know, put hands in the, in the passing lanes. It's gonna be interesting to see foul situation here tonight because both teams are very aggressive and I think it'll be interesting to, to see which teams can control the foul situations for themselves because I think that'll be important as this game progresses. Cummings Coleman pulls up against Newburn. Three-pointer is off the mark. The rebound by Kempel. Kempel's pass deflected. Cardinals have it. Cummings Coleman behind the defense with a pretty finish to get the Cardinals on the board. Coach Ware said, you know, we have to know where Kai John Cummings Coleman is at all times on the court. And, and still, it's not going to be easy for us. Freeman gets it to go with the left hand. Freeman. Jerry Freeman at the other end uses his left hand and he gets it to go. Now, like I said, this is uh, this should be a back and forth. You know, both uh, both teams have a little bit of size. Freeman, Fritz Freeman, at six five. 
Jackson Smith had a piece of the pass, nearly had the takeaway. Cardinals flying all over on deep. Newbern in traffic, dr draws contact. It'll go against Jerry Freeman. Yeah, you see they, they collapse around the, the player with the ball, and they're just trying to limit and trouble what they do. Coach O says, we, we need to create turnovers tonight. Pass into the middle, deflected by Young, ends up out of bounds. It will be Coon Rapids' ball off of Armstrong. Well, that's what they do, create the turnover. Last time we saw this team, they created 39 turnovers against Forest Lake. That one is not going to fall, just bounced on the rim for what seemed like forever. Newburn up with it to De Desmond Ware. His jump shot rattles around and down. That's a two foot on the line. We're tied at four. Coming Skolman. Thought about the shot, then kicks it out to the corner. Young can't find room on the baseline. His pass tips away out of bounds by Ware. Yeah, that, that Aware knows. He just uh, said, that's on me. That ball would have gone out of bounds had he not, uh, had he not touched it anyway. So it keeps possession to the Cardinals. Cummings Coleman for three. It won't fall. The rebound by Tabla. Got it to Smith. His little jumper won't go. Freeman the rebound for Armstrong. Way around the run. Pushes it to Newburn. Newburn driving gets fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. This one's going to go against Jackson Young. Yep. That'll be the uh, his first second team foul. Well, it's like uh, Armstrong has to keep an eye on Kaijan. The Cardinals need to keep an eye on Newburn because he's very active. You can see it here, very deliberate in what he does. Hits the first and gives Armstrong its first lead of the ball game. Ware, Newburn, Scram, and Freeman all in double digits last week. Owen Scram had a double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds. Both Freeman and Newburn were just a rebound away from a double-double. So they got a lot of rebounds as well. 49 as a team. At 53 points and 49 rebounds. Turnover by the Cardinals. Think of that, they gave up only 51 right. points and they had 49 rebounds. Oh. Rosemont, uh, very very slower team, very deliberate. Poked away by Freeman, on the run is Cummings Coleman. And a late whistle. Just ruling it out of bounds, no yep. contact. None of the officials were down court that quickly. The inbound goes to Smith, able to recover it in traffic, kicks it out. Freeman right side for Tabla. Up top, Cummings Coleman has room, takes the shot, it's off the mark. Chases it himself, but it ends up with Desmond Ware and now Newbert behind the defense. Basket the foul. And that's one Freeman's just got to pull the hand back and let him have it. Yeah, because Newbert had that quick burst to the basket and he wasn't going to get him. And that's his second. Ray Bennett checking in for Coon Rapids. Had one of the coolest highlights in that Forest yes, Lake game. Yes, he did. Grabbed the ball, spun, and flung it down court. Got himself an assist. A miss on the... Extra point for Newburn means it's 8-6. Tabla into the corner, wants help, kicks it out, and Freeman, or Cummings Coleman rather, yeah, could just, not handle it. Yeah, just couldn't control the basketball. So Armstrong here with the early lead and an opportunity to try and build upon it. Plenty of time remaining, obviously, in this opening half. 
Leroy Barnes into the ball game for Armstrong. Has the pill, left side for Scram. In trouble, back up top for College. Across, driving is Newburn. He was blocked a couple of chances inside for College. And eventually a foul that will put him at the line to shoot two. Yeah, you talked about Leroy Barnes. He's the cousin of Kai John Cummings Coleman. So got a little uh, family affair going on here tonight. One on either, uh, either side. Langdon College at the free throw line. First one off the mark. Able to make the second. It's a five point lead. Bennett into the front court, running with the left hand. Tied up and forced to travel. Good defense by College. Yeah, he's able to help a step and, and trouble what he wanted to do and forcing that turnover. Charles Scott in for Armstrong. Scott into the front court, draws double team quickly. And he draws the foul. It's going to go against Jackson Smith. Already the fifth team foul on Coon Rapids uh, early on. Cardinals in a little bit of a situation. Not anybody personally, but as far as team fouls go. Scott on the right side, takes it to the lane, kicks it out for Scram. Three-pointer won't fall. The rebound is good for Cade Bird. Bird doing a nice job of just cleaning up the miss. Doing a good job of getting that offensive rebound. Cummings Coleman kicks it out to Young. Put it on the floor, pulls up from the free throw line and hits nothing but net. Cardinals needed that. I was just gonna say that. They certainly needed a bucket. They got one from Jackson Young. Scott into the corner for Scram, back up top. Scott will give it back to Scram. That one batted away by Cummings. Coleman, Smith has it on the run. Got the foul, will go to line to shoot two. No argument from Scott. Knew there was nope. no chance of doing anything but. Oh, that, that play was started by C squared. He's got a hand in the passing lane and pushed it forward to Jackson Smith. Kenny Jones checking in. A little bit of an off night for Kenny against Burnsville. Held to just, I think, yep. one point. Had double digits in each of the first two games off the bench. You got to hit those. An 11-6 lead for Armstrong. They have the ball. Right side for Bird. Into the post. Down low, College is mugged. And he will go to line to shoot two. It's going to go against Bennett. It'll be his second. He and Smith were both there, and it was going to be the second for someone. A couple quick fouls for Bennett off the bench. Yeah, and you mentioned it. Six fouls were only uh, five minutes yeah. and six seconds into the ballgame. Yeah, That's, uh, that could come back to uh, hurt Coon Rapids here in this first half. Jackson Hetworth checks in for Coon Rapids. So all three Jacksons on the floor and on the lane. The Jackson three. The Jackson three, I like it. Smith, Hetworth, and Young. Full court pressure from the Falcons. C squared on the run. Able to run around the contact with the shot won't fall. Smith couldn't get the follow to go. The rebound by Berg. And now Scott weaving through traffic. Gets it ahead for Newburn. 
Down low, Barnes on the baseline, stripped by Hetwer, and he's going to be called for the foul. Call that. Yeah, so that'll be the team. That'll be the seventh foul. Barnes hits the first. Not able to hit them both. Jones with the rebound. Jackson Young pulls up for three. Can't get it to fall. Newburn up court to Barnes. He missed, pressured by his cousin, but Scott is there to follow it up and finish. Yeah, again, nobody back uh, for, the, for the Cardinals there. And an easy rebound for Armstrong. 15 to six lead now for the Falcons. Cummings Coleman, cross court, Young in the corner. Steps inside against Newburn, got the foul on Barnes. And will go to line to shoot two. Well, now these are situations when you get an opportunity from the free throw stripe, you gotta be able to hit them. Young able to make one of two. Now we're seeing a little bit of pressure from the Cardinals. Stopping up is Ware. Looking, gets it to Kempel. Near side for Scram. He finds room around the corner. Floater wouldn't fall. Smith the rebound ahead for Jones. Jones, little floater is good. And then a offensive call. Oh. His first personal eighth team foul on Coon Rapids. Just three personal fouls as a team on Armstrong here so far in the first half. Coach O'Gorick not real satisfied with the call. Nope. Cummings Coleman bats that one away out of bounds. Newburn inbounds to Ware, pressured by Smith. Coming Coleman there too. Got it to Freeman, scram on the baseline, forces it through, Kempel tosses it up, won't go. Jones surrounded and tied up. A good job by, uh, by Kenny to tie that ball up and give his squad possession. Cummings Coleman called for the travel. Things not going the Cardinals' no, way. Very no. slow to start, trailing 15 to seven. Campbell cross court. Newburn steps in. Great move, but can't get it to fall. Out of bounds off Armstrong. Yeah, just a, a nice move to the basket that we, we talked about. About him in the opening and, and um, how dynamic he is. And you can see that there as he's able to drive to the basket but just couldn't get the basketball to fall for him. Young works up court. 
gets it to Belpetio. Left side, Cummings Coleman for three, well off the mark. Rebound comes to Kempel. Ware pushes it to Newbert. Cross court, Kempel into the corner, scram for three. That's not going to go. Cummings Coleman the rebound. Weaving his way through, at least attempting. Couple of bodies hit the floor. The foul's going to go against Ware. Ware. Yep. That'll be his first, team fourth. Leroy Barnes checks back in for Armstrong. Foul is going to oh. be called against Ware again on the inbound as he was trying to keep up with Belpetio. Two quick ones. Yes. All of a sudden now the Falcons have five personals as a team. Inbound kicked away by Scram. Up top it goes to Jones. Jones hands it off. Cummings Coleman for three. That's in and out. Rebound by Barnes. Pushes it to Newburn behind the defense for the dunk. Yeah, again, ten point lead. Not getting back on defense and Newburn making the Cardinals pay. He has half a dozen. Now turnover. Barnes fumbled it a bit. Waits for Cummings Coleman to pass. Needs two shots, but he gets the second one to fall, and the Cardinals call a timeout down by 12. Not quite midway through the first half. It's not a contest at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. Yeah, Kai John not happy, not happy with himself there. You know, he's so far early on, he's just not feeling his shot, is not dropping for him, and it's certainly not for lack of opportunities, and he just hasn't been able to get his shot to fall at this point. Jackson Young, the only Cardinal to have scored in the last seven minutes. Coach Ware, Coach Ware was a little upset about something at the scorer's table and brought the officials over. I can't really, under, I can't really tell what he's talking about, but wasn't happy with something in the scoring, I believe. But I actually had them for one less point. 18. When we were at 14 to seven, But I don't think he'd be arguing if he had an extra point. No, I, I wouldn't think that would be the case, but they're looking at the scoreboard, or scorebook. Gives uh, Coach Agoric an opportunity to talk to his squad down by a dozen. Not much we can do until we get both officials, two of the officials back out on the court. Oh, so now they said they, they, were, they were arguing that they should have had two more points. So it is 21 to seven. And uh, Coach Ware is smiling and his appeal was heard and li listened to and was given two additional points. Barnes nearly had this trip on the inbound, Freeman. Rushes to the other end, needs help. Forces it out, too tall for Young. Newburn missed short. Barnes there to clean it up. Freeman hands it off. Jackson Young works it to the right into the corner. Belpetio down low. Hook shot for Kenny Jones, won't fall. Kempel tracks it down, gets it ahead to Barnes. Barnes leaves it off, Newbird. Misses 
in close and the rebound out to the Cardinals. This is 9.04 remaining. A 16 point lead for Armstrong. Freeman works across midcourt, kicks it out in the corner, and that is the third offensive foul against Coon Rapids in this first half. Yeah, so Freeman, with plenty of time remaining, here is going to have to come out. Jackson Hetwork going to check in for him. With he'll check out with three personals. Certainly not. Uh, not the way he wanted this evening to go or to get to start for him. And he'll uh, he'll be sitting on the bench for a little while. Barnes across to Scott, his pass deflected, taken away by Young. On the run, shot won't fall, disrupted by Scott. Scram pushes it up court. And that's gonna be a foul against Jackson Smith. Coach Ugoric wondering why there was not a foul on Jackson yep. Young going to the rim. That's, a, that's already, that's the 10th team foul on Coon Rapids here in this first half of 8.38 remaining. Langdon College checking back in for the Falcons. Owen Scram getting his first point to the game. And getting his first two. This hole has gotten pretty big pretty quick. It has. And miscommunication. Causes the turnover. Inbound goes to Leroy Barnes. Long three-pointer and Barnes rattles it all around the rim but can't get it to fall. Yeah, Smith scram. got the rebound and then was fouled. I've heard they call him bad, bad Leroy Mark. <laughs> That's Scram second. Cummings Coleman and Elijah Tabla back in for Coon Rapids. Yeah, you're not gonna sit C squared too long. No. Especially when you're down 18. He's being trailed by Barnes. Young kicks it out, Cummings Coleman. Three point attempt wouldn't fall. Yeah, so far early on, Kai John's just not, he, he's getting shot attempts, he's just not finding the, the hole. Young in some trouble in the corner, able to work his way out against Bird, gets it back for Tabla. Tabla puts it on the floor against Charles Scott. Now needs some help, Barnes there defensively. Hetwer left side, long way from the rim. Gets a pick and a moving screen is gonna get the foul on Kenny Jones. Timeout yeah. again for the Cardinals. Well, and Coach O, Probably a well-needed timeout here is just uh, his guys aren't on, on the same page. They're just not playing to the level that they know uh, that they can play to. So give credit to Armstrong. They're troubling him. They're doing what they want. They're hitting their shots when they need to, and that's why this lead is 18. Seen a lot of smiles on the uh, face of head coach Rob Ware. 
so far early on as his team is uh, doing what he's hoping that they would have done here to get off to a good start. Yeah, after they, again, a gutty win, but just 53 points in the opener. Yep. And they already have 25. We're barely past midway through the first half. Well, like Coon Rapids, they're a squad that likes to run. And when you have two teams that like to run, you can implement your offense to the way you want. You, you design it. And so far, Armstrong being successful at that. Yeah, they've got like seven or eight guys that have contributed to their yep. scoring, too. Scott High on the left side, put it on the floor, lost the handle, but tried to get it over to Newburn, ripped away by Jackson Smith, tied up. Possession arrow favors the Falcons. Jackson Smith, again, doing a good job of tying that basketball up. Newburn three-pointer won't go. The rebound by Freeman. Kicks it out. Berg for three. That one's good. Uh, you get that ball out of the perimeter unguarded enough, and you take enough three-point opportunities, and they're going to go. Hetworth looking to answer, and he does. Uh, he, he can make that shot. Jack, Jackson Hetworth is a very good perimeter shooter. Berg traveled. Almost five minutes between Coon Rapids points. Yeah, it's uh, not typically how this Cardinal squad plays. Hetwer on the right side of the lane, lost the handle, gets it back. Lost it this time right to Fitz Freeman. Freeman finds some room and gets it to Scott. Long three-pointer for Scott, well off the mark. The rebound to Tabla, ran into Newburn, kicks it back to C squared. Cummings Coleman pulls up, shot off the glass, won't fall. The rebound by Berg. Newburn in traffic, throws it up. Rebound tipped and collected by College. He's tied up by Jackson Young. And this time the possession arrow will favor the home squad. That were cross midcourt met by College, gets it to Cummings Coleman. Recollects it, spins to the lane, switches hands and scores. Yeah, and see, that's what they need from Kai John. They need, obviously, that uh, they want his perimeter shot to fall, but he's so active underneath the basket, you saw exactly why. Freeman backdoor, Kempel. Shot won't go, rebound out of bounds. It'll stay with Armstrong. Scram, scram back in. Inbound to Newburn, takes it in strong and scores. Again, uses his strength underneath, and he has a he has ten to lead all scores. Pull up jumper for Cummings Coleman off the back iron. Rebound by Fitz Freeman. He's Followed by Cummings Coleman, and it'll be a two shot foul. Yeah, that's uh, Kai John's just his first. But as the Cardinals have been in the double bonus for a little bit, as you mentioned, a couple of shots for Armstrong. And Armstrong has not been particularly strong from the free throw no. line in the first half. Their lead could be quite a bit larger because they've had far more opportunities at the charity stripe than has Coon Rapids. 
Freeman able to hit the second one. Jackson Young into the front court. Kicks it out now. Cummings Coleman for three. This one in the fall leader. Scram has the rebound. Smith defending. Gets it ahead to Desmond Ware into the front court. Hands it off. Newburn to Scram. He's got open room. His three pointer won't fall. Kempel tracks down the rebound. Scram inside. Tried to thread the needle with the pass. Instead, it's taken away and fits Freeman is going to be foul, uh, called for the foul. Yeah, again, you know, the uh, the quicker player taking the ball out, that's just a foul that I know Coach Ware doesn't like to see, but fortunately for Armstrong, the lead is where it's at at 31 to 12. Inbound goes to Belpetio, watched by his opposite number in Kempel. Cummings Coleman drives, shot won't go. The rebound by Newburn. Comes out of it, kicks it to Kempel on the run. Kempel kicks it back. Cardinal fans wanted to travel, won't get it. Kempel back out. Newburn open look, three pointer won't fall. Fitz Freeman the rebound. And he is tied up. But the Falcons will keep it on the possession arrow. Inbound to Scram, three-pointer won't go. Rebound by Tabla, foul by Freeman. And it'll be a one-and-one one for Elijah Tabla at the other end. Yeah, that'll be his second. Eighth team foul on Armstrong. Tabla misses the front end. Campbell battles and controls the rebound. College to Barnes. Barnes into the front court for Armstrong. Kicks it back up top for Kempel. Drew Kempel back for Barnes. Leroy Barnes right side for Kempel. Down low, Bird turns. Shot won't go, rebound tip to Barnes. He drives inside and is tied up by Raymond Bennett. It's a big defensive play to get the ball back for the Cardinals. Yeah, just 12 points so far here in this first half. Uh, not typical of what Coon Rapids does on, on the court. I mean, look at that game against Burnsville. They scored 97. Three-pointer for Young is off the mark. The rebound by College. Up court for Barnes. Gets the corner. Throws it up. No call. Jackson Young back the other way. Kicks it out. Petworth for three, that's not going to go. The rebound by Bennett, turns, can't get it to fall. Berg has the rebound. Stolen away, but a foul before the steal. Second for Hetwer, a lot for the Cardinals as a team. Yeah, they've... Uh... Berg rolls it across on the first. Berg mits them both. Cardinals couldn't control the rebound. The Falcons can. Barnes is fouled. We'll go to the line to shoot two. That one's going to go against Tabla, his first. 
Yeah, just too many opportunities at the stripe. Although you mentioned earlier that they, they haven't been well, as they successful had, as they had wanted from the stripe, but and, they've and had Coon a lot Rapids, of opportunities. And Coon Rapids had three opportunities at that rebound. Yep. And no one secures it. Yeah, they've left, they've left a lot of points at the free throw line. They have. And I, I might even go as far as to say better free throw shooting in this one's Cardinals are already out of. Right now, still have hope down they 19. Do. Bennett blocked away. And another foul against the B Birds. El Petio called for the infraction, his first. Leroy Barnes back at the free throw line. Makes it a 20 point lead. Second one won't go, Hepler has the rebound. Of course, Bennett. His pass taken away by Bird. Scott up top for Newburn. Spins to the lane. Draws a foul. Will get himself some more free throws. Belpedio, I believe, his second. Into the front court for the Cardinals, down to the baseline. Hetworth's jumper had too much on it. Rebound by Scott. Very little, obviously, not, very little falling for Coon Rapids. Bird right down the middle for two. Young blocked away by College. Good patience waiting for it. Backdoor feed and a little too far in front of Scott. Pull up three is good for Jackson Young. That's his second three pointer. He's got six of the Cardinal 15 points. Spinning jump shot won't go for Newburn. Rebound by Young. That word at Belpedio in the corner. They work it back up top for Bennett. Ray Bennett, right side for Hetworth. Kenny Jones, left side for Young. Young trying to get around Barnes into the lane. Back out, Bennett will pull up. That's a long two. And it's out of bounds to the Falcons. Jerry Freeman is going to check back in. Three fouls in the game. Hoping he can avoid number four here in the last minute 20 of the first half. Also hoping he can give a little bit of a spark to Coon Rapids to see if they can close this half out with, uh, with some buckets. Good hands by Hetwer. Up court. Pass was tipped. And off the backboard, Belpedio to Young. No, to That's Bennett. Yep, he Bennett. and he hit it. Under a minute. Berg down low, scores easily. 
No 20 point lead for Armstrong. Freeman jump shot is good. Jerry Freeman for two. That's four points for Freeman. Scott high on the left side for College into the corner. Barnes for three. That one won't go. Rebound out of bounds. Coon Rapids ball, 16.8 to go. College will be called for the blocking foul. It will put Belpedio at the line to shoot a one and one. Yeah, that was a hard collision. He looked dazed for a second. Coach Ware wanted an explanation and you can understand the Cardinals have had a couple of charging fouls. Yeah. And uh, I, th <laughs> I thought College was more planted on that than a couple of the others. Took hard contact too. He's he's a he's a bigger guy yep, than is, he is. Bell Petio. Pass up court a little too high. Hatwer at the buzzer, no good. And it'll be a 38 to 20 halftime lead for the Falcons. We'll take a break and have. First half reaction after this, you're watching Boys High School Basketball on CTN. CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. Well, welcome back to uh, the, the complex and here with Coach O'Gorg. Mike, the, the first half didn't go the way you had hoped, obviously. Talk a little bit about what you saw in that first half from your guys. Yeah, offensively, we're terrible tonight. I mean, we're, you know, we, we're not moving the ball well. We're drawing D at times, and then we're just trying to chuck stuff up, and it's like it's multiple. Um, so things are there. We got to move the ball. We're not moving the ball. And then, you know, we get stymied, and then all of a sudden, like, then we're afraid, right? We have opportunities to drive and create space, and then we don't drive. And, um, you know, we're, I, gosh, I'm trying to think from the free throw line, I feel like we're, I mean, we're maybe one of eight, I don't know. I mean, so it's just, shots aren't falling, but we're not creating good shots at all. Like, our offensive, our inability to move the ball is murdering us right now. So what, do you, what kind of adjustments are you looking at? What are you going to talk to your guys about in this break? Move the ball. Right, so like being in space, and we've got to move the ball. Okay, they, they're they're snuffing the drive. That means everything is open, and we got to be able to move it, and then we got to be able to move it one more. Right now, we're struggling to move it one time. So I mean, you're not going to beat a team. You're not going to beat anyone like that. So we got to get better on offense, and and you know, fight like hell on D and get some boards to get back in it. But yeah, got to get better on offense. No, thanks, no. thanks, coach. Good luck in the second half. We're going to take a break and be back with first half highlights right after this. Okay, I have a couple good ones for you, Joe. How do football players stay cool? By standing next to the fans. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? Penalty. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. Carlson 
Fieldhouse. The Armstrong Falcons fly it away early on. A 38-20 lead at the break. And how he, at the very beginning, it started out back and forth as we expected. And then the Falcons just uh, took off and ran up some big streaks. Yeah, they really did. And, and give credit to them. They were able to extend this well, lead and really put Coon Rapids on their heels. In Coon Rapids, you didn't really talk to Coach about uh, the fouls, but way too many fouls. Yep. A lot of opportunities at the charity stripe in the first half for the Falcons. And as we talked about during that first half, they left a lot of points at the free throw line. They really did. So Coon Rapids still, you know, down 18, but uh, stranger things have happened. Well, yeah, and, and it'll be interesting to co talk to Coach uh, Rob Ware at, at the half and see his thoughts on that first half and, and what he's going to implement in this second half or would like to do anyway. But he's got to be pretty pleased with where his squad is at the break. He knows there's still another 18 minutes on the other side of half. They have to win both sides to take the victory. For the Falcons, with a big lead, 38-20 at the break, will take... Another break and be back and hear from Coach Ware before we get the second half started on CTF. Watching your favorite Cardinal Sports Live was getting even easier. Whether it's CTN Cable Channel 859, the CTN Facebook and YouTube pages, or now live on our Twitter page. You choose how you want to watch Cardinal Nation. With CTN, you'll be able to catch all the big plays all the emotion, yes, he will. and all the fun of Coon Rapids sports. CTN Coon Rapids, stay connected. Back at Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, Armstrong on top of Coon Rapids 38 to 20. Howie Shapiro is standing by with Falcons head coach, Rob Ware. That's Howie? right, that's right, John, here with Coach Ware. And Coach, I'm just going through your keys that you and I talked about earlier. And outside of missing some shots from the free throw line, you got to be pretty happy of that first half. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited with our team defense, guys getting excited to get stops. Our goal is to get one and done. They get one shot, and then we got to rebound that ball and get it out. You talked about really limiting Kai John Cummings Coleman in this first half. You really did that. Talk a little bit about what your message was to the guys at the uh, at the break. Yeah, not to not to take the foot off the gas pedal. We got to keep looking, play team defense, and not and not to stay humble and stay hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second. We'll be right back with the second half right after this. Howie, do you know why fish are so bad at volleyball? Because they're afraid of the net. Why me? Why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road? There were too many bumps. <laughs> uh. Why was Cinderella kicked off the team? Because she ran away from the ball. I hate you. Armstrong starting the second half with the ball and an 18 point lead. Ware working across midcourt to Kempel and now Scram on the right side. Pull up jumper on the baseline is good. Now the uh, Falcons come out and they get the first bucket here to increase that lead to 20. And I think it's obviously imperative uh, if the Cardinals want to get back in this. Cross court pass tight, taken away by Ware. Desmond Ware pulls up. His shot won't go. Cummings Coleman is going to be called for the foul. A little push underneath. That'll be his second early. And we talked, uh, we didn't get, as you mentioned, we didn't get a ch chance to address the foul situation with Coach O, but way too many fouls in that first half for Coon Rapids. Put him in a situation where gave up, uh, gave a lot of free throw opportunities to Armstrong, even though they didn't, weren't as successful as they would have liked to have been. Where inbound, scram, three pointer won't go. Freeman gets in front of Freeman for the rebound and he finishes with the left hand at the other end. Yeah, just nice soft little floater to get the bucket. 40-22. Um, and this is, a, this is a Cardinal team that's built for a comeback. Scram's three pointer off the mark. 
Oh. Smart. Freeman tried to play oh, I it thought off he, I think he must have stepped out. Where, but uh, yeah, he had already stepped on the line. Inbound up top to Kempel. Hands off, Where to the paint. Off the glass and in. Gary Freeman looking for some room. Blocked by Newburn. Nearly stolen back. Newburn fires it up court. We're all alone underneath. Scores easily. Yeah, just to break down a defense, way too easy basket for Armstrong. Cummings Coleman for three. Won't go. Fitz Freeman had the rebound and then had it ripped away. And then is called for the foul that will put Cummings Coleman at the line to shoot two. Well, if the, uh, the Cardinals are going to get back to this, uh, that young man at the line needs to get his shots to drop. Just has four points tonight. Very tough game, stares them in the face after this one. The Cardinals have to travel to Park Center to play the Pirates on Thursday. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're awfully good. Nice. Pretty reverse yeah. layup for Newburn at the other end. Well, that's why we, we had mentioned at the beginning of the game, he's so dynamic. He has 14. Smith down low, off the glass and home. Obviously trading Bassett's not going to get it done for the Cardinals. They've they got to get steals. They have to limit Armstrong to one shot opportunity. Freeman picking up number four. He gets that start because of his aggressive defense yep. in part. Unfortunately, that is why he ends up on the bench here very early in Half number two spent a lot of time there in the first half. Backdoor feed, the alley oop is good to Newbert. Yeah, beautiful pass to Newbert's backdoor. Easy bu bucket for him, 16 on the night so far. Young in the corner goes to the baseline, kicks it out. Bennett for three. That one's in and out. Fitz Freeman has the rebound. Nearly had it knocked away by Smith, but recovers. And they get down court quickly. Freeman leaning in, Smith rips it away. And so that's what Jackson Smith gives you. Bennett for three, off the mark again, and the foul is going to go against Jackson Young. So that will be uh, his second, his third. Look, I mean, look at the backdoor pass. I mean, it's just so nice. Ware driving the length of the floor, but the shot comes up short. Smith to Bennett, to Jones, his pass back. Taken away by a scram. Ware all alone drops it home. The lead is increased to 25 now for Armstrong. Eight points for Ware. Freeman got a hand in and Kind of disrupted what Cummings Coleman wanted to do, getting to the lane. Ends up out of bounds off of Armstrong. Inbound stolen away by Newburn. Scram behind the defense. Lays it in. Well, Armstrong has picked up where they've left. They left off in that first half. Able to increase this lead now. Jackson Young. I'm impressed with Long Jackson. Long two-pointer for Jackson Young I'm, is good. I'm impressed with Jackson Young. He's, uh, he's a good ball player. Scrap, he's got a nice shot from outside. He's got eight. Pull-up jumper for Scram won't go. Rebound tipped. Still loose. 
Newburn rips it away. Foul is going to be called against Jackson Smith. I believe that'll be his third, team fourth. That is correct, his third personal. Barnes checking back in for the Falcons. Got any eligibility left? Uh, they may be, they may hey, be you, looking for some players the, by the end of Wait a minute, the... you saw the video of my half-court shot. <laughs> no, nobody wants me out there. Three-pointer for Scram is no good. Follow is in for Barnes. Well, Barnes did a just nice job staying with it on the boards. He has eight. Cummings Coleman spins. Beautiful move to the lane for the bucket. Fitz Freeman is going to pick up the foul again. And a plus one opportunity for Cummings Coleman. Charles Scott back into the game for Armstrong. Barnes kicks it back to Ware. Ware runs around Bennett into the front court. Drives to the lane, draws the contact. Look at Dave Emmy with the assist. Good job, Dave. He do it all. He's an incredibly talented I man. I mean, he, he's holding a camera. He's able to get the basketball. He's, he's uh, texting. I mean, he's just doing it all at the same time. It's amazing. There he is. Best in the business. We're able to roll the second one in. They get great pressure. Ware's going to pick up the, the personal. That'll be his third. His third team foul on Armstrong. Tried a little give and go. College able to knock it away out of bounds. Cummings Coleman waits, delays, shot won't go. Freeman's follow, or uh, Smith's foul wouldn't go. And it'll be Armstrong ball out yeah, of bounds. Not able to save it. Where at it ripped away by Bennett, and then he's going to be called for the foul. Really? Coach, I was looking at him like, I don't know, it sounded like he got all ball. <laughs> Yarn back to the corner. Cummings Coleman will take the three in and out. The rebound tied up, comes loose. Cummings Coleman collects. Works it back up top for Kenny Jones. Right side, Bennett for three. It's good. Nice job working the ball around the perimeter. Bennett has six. Newburn for three, and he answers. He has 19 on the night. 58-33, Armstrong. Smith kicks it out. Bennett, another three. This one's short. Rebound to Barnes. He leads the charge to the other end. Goes up strong with the left hand and scores, plus the foul. Cousin. And he gets the foul Followed from his, by his cousin. cousin. That's Kai John's third, team sixth. 
you know, we talked about it. We saw early foul trouble by Coon Rapids in the first half. Already six fouls with 12.07 remaining in the game for Coon Rapids. Barnes with 10 points off the bench. Make it 11. Freeman kicks it out. Round to Bennett in the left corner. Guarded by Newberg. Need some help. Gets it to Freeman. Watched by Scott, gets a pick, left side. Nearly stripped by Newburn, and then the pass tipped out of bounds. Scram back in. Tablet coming back in for Coon Rapids. That were inbounds to Freeman driving. Offensive foul, and he's done. That's going to be number five against Jerry Freeman. Yeah, he was. Uh, and two of them were offensive. Yep. Pettio coming in for the Cardinals. Jerry Freeman didn't want to come out, even though he knew he had, uh, he had five personals. Didn't want to come out, and I don't blame him. Barnes gets around Belpetio on the run. Slows down, avoids Tabla, lost the handle, picks it up, gets it to Scram. Scram's pass kicked away out of bounds. I'll give credit to Armstrong. They're not letting Coon Rapids get back into this contest. They're being success successful from outside and doing a good job on the inside and creating opportunities for themselves. Inbound goes to Scram, high on the right side, puts it on the floor against Jones, spins to the lane, looking to pass. Hands off to Berg, his shot won't fall, gets his own rebound. Back to Scram, drives and scores. A delay game warning on Armstrong. Coleman back in, comes Coleman back in. Petworth long three, it's good. Good shot from the outside, Petworth has six. Pass deflected, but Barnes able to recover it in the corner. Reverse won't go. Berg got the rebound. Out to Newburn. Steps back. Three-pointer off the mark. Rebound tracked down by Hetworth. Cummings Coleman for three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Then draws the foul from Scott. Into the post, Cummings Coleman working against Scott, gets to the paint and scores. Ware left side for Scram. Hands off, Scott back up top. Scram with an open look for three, won't go. Cummings Coleman the rebound. Long pass taken away by Scott. Nearly lost the handle, gets it to Ware. Ware will pull up for three. That won't go, the rebound by Bennett. His pass deflected right to Scott. And a timeout for Armstrong. Coach Ware calling timeouts. This squad playing a little bit undisciplined at this point. This wants to 
stop things uh, and talk about it as the Cardinals trail 63 to 38. Yeah, Coon Rapids just never, as we've talked about, just never able to get into any rhythm. And credit goes to Armstrong from keeping yeah, them off their game. Absolutely. You know, it was a team that uh, scored a hundred or scored 97 points the last time they were on the floor, had 72 in their win against Apple Valley, and uh, well, well, well below their average here tonight. Yeah, they're just not playing to the level that they're used to playing to. And as you mentioned, give credit to Armstrong for really taking them out of their game. And, you know, and Armstrong's making shots. And as you mentioned, uh, the road don't get any easier. No. Park Center uh, had just one loss last season on their way to a state championship. And that loss was to Armstrong. I was going to set you up even better Appreciate for that. It. But Thank you, you. But you just jumped I, right in. I, you know, got to get my time in when I can. But they are 2-0 uh, and o coming into play tonight and both victories uh, by like 20 and 30 points. Yeah, they're pretty good. Wins over, I think, Edina and De La Salle. And that's going to be Cummings Coleman trying to reach in on Kempel. Kempel will go to the line and shoot a one and one. That's number four against Cummings Coleman. In and out, Tabla has the rebound for Coon Rapids. Hands off to Hetwer, reverses to the lane, nice dish. And then Bennett lost the handle on his way up. Scram, back door, Ware gets the foul, will go to the line to shoot two. That's That'll so be the second of the game against Elijah Tabla. Nice fast break by Armstrong. They couldn't convert, but they'll get that opportunity to do so, or at least try to do so from the stripe. We're now with 10. They get 11. Where finds the lane and tried to pass it off to Belpetio coming on the baseline, but he was bumped by Kempel. Oh, That'll be Kempel's first, team sixth. First. Up top to Elijah Tabla, gets around where and scores. Knocked away out of bounds by Bennett. Again, we talked about a tra trading basket. It's not going to not going to get it done for the Cardinals. They've got to continue to try and get stops, and still some time left. But the, they're trailing by 25. Got a little over nine minutes remaining. Into the post, Fitz Freeman just turns. He's definitely got the uh, size advantage yeah. over Belpetio. Down low, Bennett underneath scores. Nice feed from C squared. Belpetio got a hand in, pride it free. Tabla on the run, will score. That's what they need to do, get the turnover and get the bucket. Quick transition basketball. And that's typically what they do. We haven't seen a lot of it here tonight from Coon Rapids. Freeman drives. And he will get the offensive as C squared got into the lane to draw the contact. Yeah, that was some hard contact. That's his fifth, so he's going to foul out. He'll foul out with five points. Cummings Coleman on the run, underneath Bennett, not ready for the pass. Nice dish again. Barnes drives baseline. 
And the foul is going to be called against. Called Tabla. Tabla, I yeah. think. Yep. Yep. That'll be his third, team 10th. Barnes rolls it all over the rim, but does not send it through the cylinder. That one does go down. Barnes with a dozen. Tabla inside scores. Ware right side for Scram. And now Kempel. Newbert steps in. A little floating shot is good. Yeah, he does a nice job of getting the basket. Gets in close with a high percentage shot. He has 21. Three-pointer for Hepler is good. Yeah, Jackson's been feeling it from the outside. He has nine three-pointers. Three, three, three pointers. Still a 21-point yeah. lead for the visiting Falcons. Barnes. Can't get the shot to go. Hatworth has the rebound. Hatworth, long three on the run. It won't go. Barnes on the run the other way. Fouled by Hatworth. He'll have to earn him from the line. That'll be uh, Hatworth's third. Jackson Young back into the game for Coon Rapids. Barnes again able to get the second one to fall. Young out to C squared, thought about the shot. Hatworth in the corner instead. Three pointer is short. Berg has the long rebound. Ahead, Scram stumbled and fell. Coach Weir trying to <laughs> find out how there was no contact. Did he? Big smile on his face, though. Well, and Scram was thinking the same thing as he was sliding on the floor. Like, how was that? Not contact, good anticipation by Berg to get the steal. Kicks it out to Scram, spinning jump shot won't go. Cardinals fighting themselves for the rebound. Barnes had a couple of chances, draws a foul, will go back to the line to shoot two, and that'll be number four against Jackson Hetworth. Scott and College both going to check in for Armstrong. Yes, College is going to wait. Yes, he is. And now he will check in for Barnes, who again made the second of his two free throws. Smith. 
Jackson Young up court for the Cardinals. Trail by 23. Cummings Coleman working against Scott. Spins. Shot high off the glass, won't fall. Falcons able to control the rebound. Again, just the, again a one trip down for Coon Rapids. Berg hands up to Scram on the right side, up top for Langdon College. Left side for Desmond Ware. His pass kicked by Jackson Smith. Foul away from the ball is going to be called on Jackson Young, his fourth. It'll put Berg at the line to shoot two. Well, one of the stories of this uh, this game for Coon Rapids is way too many fouls, both in the first and the second half. And one a story for Armstrong is not as successful from the line as they'd like to be. You talked about it earlier. I, it, it, the lead might be much bigger had they been able to be a little more successful from the stripe. I haven't been keeping track, but I would guess that they've missed probably 20 to 25 points from the yeah, line. That was a great hustle play by college. It's a significant amount. Yes. But... When you're up by 23, it's a little easier to live with those. That were a little fake from the corner. Kicks it across. Cummings Coleman will take the three, and he hits it. That's yeah, first three that he's been able to connect on tonight. He has 13 now. But uh, his shot had not been dropping for him from the perimeter. Ware in the corner. It's a pick from Berg up top for Scram. And now Scott on the left side finds some room. Jump shot won't go. Cardinals have the rebound. Cummings Coleman bumped by College. Go to the line to shoot a one and one. He's limping a little bit. Where's the pickle juice? I don't know if that's a cramp. But I like your thought he is, process. He is prone to them. Yeah. <laughs> Misses the front end of the one and one. Berg has the rebound. Graham, pull up jumper, won't go. College the rebound, but pass went right through the hands of Desmond Ware. Yeah, not happy with himself. Did a great job of getting that rebound, but then throw, throws the pass away. Ware had to go up into about the eighth row to retrieve the basketball. Bennett to Hetwer in the corner. Up top, Elijah Tabla drives the lane. Blocked away out of bounds. And college with the, the long reach, able to block that away. Inbound to Tabla in some trouble and out of bounds off Armstrong.
traveled. Spins one way, okay. Spins back the other way, that's a little too many little steps. Bit, yeah. Berg, a little pump fake, kicks it out. Scott for three, it's good. Push that lead to 23. Long three for Hatwer, won't fall. College has the rebound between a couple of Cardinals. Tied up, and it'll be Cardinal ball. Joel Sai, Michael Dillard Smith into the game for the first time along with Lucas Prem. As the uh, Falcons are emptying the bench in a game that's essentially decided. Prem getting in there, getting a steal from Jackson Smith. Scott across midcourt. Open lane for Joel side. He put too much on it, missed it over the top. And yeah, then he's going to commit the foul. Pettio back in for Coon Rapids. Jackson Smith will take a seat on the bench. Second attempt for Tableau is short. Scott in for the rebound. Quickly gets the Falcons set up in their half court offense. Hatwork got a hand in and He's gonna pick up foul number five as maybe gave a little bit of a push to Dillard just Smith. A, just a little one. Jeremy Adi in for the Cardinals, first time tonight. Had the big uh, Play late in the football season. Yep. I became a fan. Yes. And now here he is, a, maybe even a bigger fan of the little guy yep. on a basketball court. William Hable getting his first PT. College goes to the bench. Adi brings it up the floor for the Cardinals. Young lost the handle, regains, gets to the baseline. Shot is short. Follow is good for Bennett. Yeah, good job clearing the, uh, the miss for Bennett. Young comes back and gets the block on Preem and then gave him a little bit of a forearm shiver. That's and five on him. Another look at the finish by Bennett. Aloysius Nyapan into the game for the Cardinals. It's 
got an open look for three, won't fall. Nyapan can't secure the rebound. And it's out of bounds to Armstrong. You see the clock under two minutes remaining. Cardinals will drop to two and two. And the Falcons will go to two and oh. Dillard Scott was, or Dillard Smith was troubled by Nyapan. Bennett coughs it up at the other end. Dillard Smith kicks it back out. Prem up top. Final 90 seconds of this one. Three pointer for Prem won't go. Comes loose. Dillard Smith was fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. They call that on Tabla, I believe. Nope. Bennett. Henry Moe in now for Armstrong. Dillard Smith misses the second one. Tabla down the left side all the way to the lane and scores. Yeah, just quickness down the lane. I don't think Armstrong was really going to contest that. Up by 20. Make Dillard it 23. Smith. No, it's a two-pointer. Oh, I thought he had a, okay. Make it 19, or 17, 13, 20, something, something like that, 22, 25, 16. Oh, they did put a three up they there. They did, but, I think. No, he was clearly inside the line. Cardinals, another chance. Where clearing his bench, getting a number of players in for a little varsity time. With this big lead at 23. Yeah, Braxton Thomas, just an eighth grader. There we go. I, I was I, I thought they had called the foul. Yeah. You just gotta remember uh, wait, we gotta be we're shooting free throws, but we're shooting them at this end. Was there a tech? No? There must have been. So I think Hits them both. Yep. Just need 21 more points in the next 32 seconds to tie this up and force overtime. Might be a difficult. I don't know as they're playing the, in the book for a 21 point shot. Adi clears out, kicks it. And now Tabla for three, that won't fall. The rebound controlled by Habel. Three-pointer off the mark for Moe. Cardinals have it, down court. Bennett turns and scores. Bennett with a dozen. That'll do it. Yeah, a tough one for, yes. for the Cardinals, not the showing they wanted, especially in that first half. They just couldn't find any offensive rhythm. They got into a ton of foul trouble, put the Falcons at the line a lot, which certainly made it 
that much more difficult to get into any sort of rhythm in that first half. And uh, credit to Armstrong. They did what they wanted to do defensively, locked the Cardinals down, and uh, put up a couple of good offensive spurts, secured the win, and they yeah. moved it 2-0. and oh. Yeah, they did what they needed to do to get get the win on the road, and, and Coon Rapids just really not in their game from, from the start, and, and something that uh, I know Coach O will talk to his squad about, maybe just put this one in the rearview mirror and move forward because uh, they're held, held below their average. But uh, as you said, give credit to Armstrong. They did a really nice job on both ends of the court. And their road gets tougher ahead as they travel to take on defending state champion Park Center on Thursday. We have boys and girls hockey, a double header from the Crick on Saturday evening. Boys basketball will be back here next Tuesday when the Cardinals host the St. Francis Saints. And we'll see the boys hockey team against the East Ridge Eagles on Thursday, the 22nd. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTM Sports. Again, the final score, Armstrong 80, Coon Rapids 61. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTM for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.